Hi guys, this is Tope. And Nicole, and welcome to Tribe. Tribe has been visiting museums as part of our cultural exploration. That's right, and our first stop of museums is the iconic museum located at the heart of Makati. Too bad though, Nix, you weren't there. But mm. I enjoyed it for you. <laughs> I know, but nonetheless, watch this so I could experience it with the viewers. The Ayala Museum, an iconic building located at the heart of Makati. You could get to the museum either by MRT, by bus, by car, or even by foot if you're just around the Makati area. For those entering the museum, the visitor is welcome to the museum's ground floor gallery, which plays host to events and exhibitions of contemporary Philippine art, which varies from time to time. Currently on display is the works of contemporary artist Onib Olmedo. Entitled In My Life, Soul Portraits by Onib Olmedo, his art captures the very essence of the daily grind. His works are a mixture of mixed media of charcoal, ink, and paints on both canvas and paper. Part of the exhibition are his sketch pads, which encapsulates the daily journal of sketches that emerges from Onib's hands. From the elevator, go up one level and you will be welcomed by a huge display of 60 dioramas, maritime vessels, and life-size height models of prominent personalities from our history. Start off with a prehistoric model of the Philippines before the Spaniards colonized the country. Then move from diorama to diorama as history of the Philippines unfolds in front of your very eyes. It wasn't only the grandeur of the Philippine history that was also on display, but there were scale models of old ships being used for trade and travel during the turn of the century. And last, but certainly not the least, is a glimpse into our path to democracy, when people power made an outstanding mark on our history that brought the Filipino people together in a peaceful move to oust former President Marcos that gave way to our freedom. One staircase up, and it's the third floor of the Ayala Museum where a vast display of arts that came out from the hands of master artists Juan Luna, Fernando Amorsolo, and Fernando Zubel, the pioneers of Philippine art. Start off with the works of master artist Juan Luna. From the entrance, one could see the startlingly vivid details of paintings that come to life at each stroke of the brush. Then move to the middle part of the room where another significant pioneer of Philippine art is honored. It is none other than Fernando Amorsolo. Fernando Amorsolo is a pioneer of impressionistic paintings at the turn of the 20th century. His use of shimmering sunlight on pastoral landscapes gave the audience a feeling of actually being inside the canvas. A few feet away and be inspired with one of the pioneers of Philippine art that gave a more modern and contemporary twist to the arts is Fernando Zubel, the youngest child of Enrique Zubel de Ayala. His works, which started the abstract art in the Philippines, served as the inspiration of the succeeding generations today. Last but certainly not the least floor of the Ayala Museum houses one of the biggest collection of priceless antique vases, gold and embroidered lace, and other national costumes worn by our ancestors. From the elevator, turn left towards the Millennium of Contact exhibit which features a vast collection of ceramics. The ceramics on display tells the story how the Chinese and its neighboring countries traded with the Philippines at the turn of the century. Behind vault-like doors is the well-guarded gold of our ancestors. The exhibit, which houses one of the most imported metals that our country used for trade, is one of the biggest gold collection we see on display. Going to a museum could teach us a lot of values, but going to a museum does not limit your learning experience. It also teaches you good values and how to preserve our heritage. It was established in 1967. It was the brainchild of the late artist Fernando Zobel, the pioneer of uh, modernist abstract art in the Philippines. It was established, I guess, essentially because of Mr. Zobel's um, uh, pioneering status in the arts. No? Aside from that, of course, the family has always been, has always been um, a patron of the arts in the Philippines. The arts here and the, the different um, artifacts that we have are taken care of very, very well. Um, they have different uh, ways of doing so. Uh, we are in charge, of course, of showcasing these artifacts and these arts. To, to other people. Sa pananaw ko, pupunta sila sa museum, parang they get both experiences, dalawang karanasan. Kasi naman, pupunta kayo sa park, eh, 
you get to spend time with the family, you literally talk to each other, you suppose of you spend time together. But also when you go to the mall, air ko naman dun, uh, it's, it's more comfortable and everything. At least dito sa museum, you can do the same thing, air ko pa rin, and you also have an educational aspect to it. So, so parang tripartite siya, no? The family time, um, na komportable ka naman at saka may, may pinag-aaralan ka at the end of the day. So parang it's a really good experience na pupuntahan talaga ng museo mga familia. You know, the, we give all pa, all around passes naman to media personnel, no? But at any rate, if you're um, an ordinary guest coming in na wala ka namang prior consent or if you weren't given prior permission to come into the museum to take pictures, we will have to confiscate cameras, delete the pictures, and give them back to you afterwards. Don't worry, we will not do anything to them. We're just taking the, the precautions uh, for the video. We are inviting everybody to come um, to visit us, of course. We're open from Tuesdays to Sundays. Uh, Tuesday to Friday, we're open from 9 to 6. And Saturdays and Sundays, we're open from 10 to 7. Come visit us. Um, come spend time with your family and friends. And of course, for those um, who want to impress a loved one or someone dating or someone, it's an <laughs> excellent place to showcase your um, expertise on history, culture, and art. Thank you. The Ayala Museum has taught us a lot of things. Aside from its founding, it imparts to the next generation that we have a vast collection of treasures and heritage that we could truly call our own.